as opposed to being government and big corporations taking over everything, okay. Okay, ruling the land. Okay, now, now I'm sorry, guys. I had a misunderstanding of what you guys were doing. I thought it was the opposite. Yeah, well, I don't blame you. The media has been doing a really bad job of yeah. getting the message <laughs> yeah. out about what's the plot. Yeah, a lot of people. We are at the moment taking the deoccupy Honolulu banner off public property and as you can see we are on a private property um, so that it is not being stored for 24 hours on public property as you can see we are currently having it on private property so it's not continuously on public property we expect uh, the police and state and city authorities to arrive tomorrow morning to try to confiscate things uh, the many items have been tagged and many items have been uh, taken by occupiers and many items have been replaced so that uh, we comply with the law the Bill 54 law which is Ordinance 11-029 by not storing property continuously for 24 hours. This live stream will show the time uh, and when the um, banner was taken off public property. And uh, as far as what this is, you're, we are at uh, the corner of Ward and Baratania, diagonally across from the Occupy Honolulu encampment on private property. <laughs> There's someone from Occupy. I'm I'm live streaming that. We we wanted to show the uh, banner being not stored continuously. The light is really great here. Thanks, Ra. And we're we're streaming live, and it'll record too. So. Streaming live, and it'll record. But she'll have her phone with her and if something should happen to her 
While we have this light, you want to say something? I just want to say that the city and county of Honolulu, the state of Hawaii, and the United States of America have, all have no business in Hawaii. They're not legally the government here, and we need to peacefully resolve that. Breaking Kanawai Mamalahoi, pushing people around, evicting people, and interfering with people's freedom of speech is not the way to make things right. Thank you. I'll, I'll follow you as long as I have okay. bandwidth. Okay. We have three people watching. This is live from Occupy Honolulu, corner of Ward and Baratania. Actually, we're diagonally across it. We're marching back now. We're under attack uh, using the Honolulu Ordinance 11-029, which allows the city authorities to confiscate property, including tents and including protest signs, which got tagged this morning. Uh, the, the ordinance requires a continuous storage for more than 24 hours, and we have taken uh, many items off uh, location uh, to show that they're not, one is that they're not items that are being stored. Uh, in particular, uh, this banner, which is being uh, taken uh, back now to its rightful uh, place at the corner at Occupy. I'm now crossing Baratania Street. And we are now... We can Oh yeah, by the first insurance. Over there, the first insurance sign. Okay, we're gonna go. Now we are walking back to Occupy. Sorry for the shaky camera. We are now back at Occupy Honolulu with the banner. So as you can see, it was not stored continuously. Okay. Okay, right, right. We can see uh, signs here. Whoops, okay, we're gonna take that up. A lot of these signs were tagged. You can see these potted plants were tagged. The splintered paddle itself was tagged. This is the tag right here. They will attempt a seizure of, of many things. And before I leave you tonight, for the time being, very ironic are not a protest sign at all but a welcome sign you can see that was tagged I'll return hopefully uh, with a live stream tomorrow there's another sign and as you can see, that was also tagged. They want to seize that. It doesn't fall under free speech. The city attorney said First Amendment protects free speech, but not objects, not property like signs. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to come back. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning around 7 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, we are minus 10 GMT.
So um, thanks for following, and uh, we'll talk to you again.